Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Ignition Time. The number one thing that's going to affect our economic recovery at this point in time is the Delta variant. In fact, in this video, I'll explore how the Delta variant could hamper, potentially cripple the economic recovery. One thing is for sure, it is increasingly starting to impact specific aspects of the US economy. Welcome to our channel, everyone. My name is Dr. Nitin Choda. This right here is a little bit of information about me. You'll learn more about who I am, what my journey has been like, and why you should listen to me. Here's a headline of an article on your screen from Bloomberg Economics. The Delta impact is increasingly threatening some parts of the US economy. In fact, Bank of America said that credit card pullback could partly reflect on the virus emergence. Now, I'll explain exactly what this means. And a lot of reports are showing events cancelled, office returns delayed, flights cancelled, all sorts of problems are now starting to emerge. What exactly is happening? From event cancellations to modifications in consumer behavior, there are growing signs that the Delta variant could slow the pace of US economic recovery. Now, we'll know in the next few months exactly how the Delta variant is going to impact us. But economists and policymakers are closely watching all the data that is emerging. For example, some events like the New York International Auto Show are being cancelled due to virus concerns. Companies including Google, Amazon and BlackRock have recently pushed back plans to encourage people to return to the office. It's very, very early to try and understand the exact impact because a lot of other data points are emerging. Here's an important data point from economists Michelle Mayer and Anna Zhu. They wrote this in a recent note. Total spending using Bank of America's debit cards and credit cards went down substantially. Now, it's too early to say, folks, because again, a lot of money is indeed making its way through the system, including the boost in the middle of July from the child tax credit payments. The fact is there's a significant pullback in spending on airplanes and entertainment. This could be a direct result of the variant. Now, looking at the United States as a whole, there have been an improvement in open table restaurant bookings, but these have actually stalled in recent months. On the other hand, reservations in hotspot states like Florida and Texas remain above the 2019 level. So the predicament here is that things are indeed starting to improve in certain states. On the other hand, those states are hot spots as far as the pandemic is concerned. Now, a back to work gauge from Castle Systems, which is a company that tracks electronic access to office buildings, showed a slight pullback last week from its pandemic peak a week earlier. Right now, it's very unclear whether this volatility, in other words, people being less likely to go back to work in the office is just a blip or is it the start of another meaningful trend? I do think we need to be extremely careful because this Delta variant could come back to haunt us. Here's a headline of an article on your screen from Fox Business. Amazon postpones the return to office date until 2022. Amazon employees won't be back until at least the 3rd of January. In fact, corporate employees of the Seattle-based e-commerce giant Amazon will not be allowed to head back to the office until at least the 3rd of January. You can start to see that companies are pushing back the return to work. And, and I want all of our viewers and subscribers to be careful about this. Here's the headline of an article on your screen from CNBC. Dr. Fauci warns most severe variant could emerge as the US cases near 100,000 a day. Yes, folks, Dr. Anthony Fauci warned that the upcoming mutations could be even more contagious than Delta, which has a viral load of about 1,000 times higher than the Alpha variant. In fact, the United States is reporting a seven-day average of nearly 94,000 new cases as of August 4th, up 48% from one week ago, according to data from John Hopkins University. And the recent surge has most severely affected unvaccinated people, specifically in states like Florida and like Texas. And Dr. Fauci said there remain about 93 million people who are eligible for vaccinations nationwide, but who are un vaccinated. Pretty incredible, folks. In fact, the governor of New Jersey, Phil Murphy, essentially called those who are unvaccinated knuckleheads. His exact words, folks, not mine. He called them knuckleheads. In some pretty unbelievable and direct comments from the governor of New Jersey, he said those who are not getting vaccinated are putting others at risk and they are knuckleheads. In fact, let's watch the governor of New Jersey, Phil Murphy, the Democrat, essentially let it rip 
on those who are unvaccinated and those who are anti-vaccine people. Let's roll the tape and watch the governor of New Jersey, Phil Murphy, letting it rip. Let's watch. Please get vaccinated. Period. These folks back there have lost their mind. You've lost your minds. You are the ultimate knuckleheads. And because of what you are saying and standing for, people are losing their life. People are losing their life. And you have to know that. Look in the mirror. Look in the mirror. That's where things stand, everyone. I want to know from you. What do you think about the Delta variant and what do you think about this dire warning from Dr. Fauci that the most severe variant could emerge as US cases near 100,000 a day? If this happens, folks, we will be looking at a political reckoning and perhaps the extension of the $300 a week, perhaps even more stimulus. Right now, it looks unlikely. And let's hope that this Delta variant does not ravage our country. But if it does, it looks like there's going to be more government intervention that could potentially be needed because, because things are looking a little uncertain right now. And I want to know from you in the comments section below where you stand with this and whether you think this Delta variant is a real threat. How concerned are you about the Delta variant? Do you feel that it can actually slow down the economic recovery. What is your opinion? Let me know in the comment section below. I read every single comment and I appreciate our viewers and subscribers. I want to hear from our community because I value our community. I respect our community and I want to know what you think. Please click like, please click subscribe, please enable notifications. Thank you so much for watching. I work hard on this channel every single day and all I ask of you is please click the like button, please click subscribe, please enable notifications and that is your way of supporting our channel. This right here is my Twitter feed. You'll be able to keep up with all the news stories that I'm reading, that I'm following and you'll be able to follow along with me. My Twitter handle is ignition underscore time. That's ignition underscore time. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode of Ignition Time. Take care. Bye.